Education. So the upcoming topic will um, shed some light into achieving and empathy at scale efficiently, effectively, as well as how we can employ the right digital tools to assess customer intelligence. Last but not least, uh, you will help us understand the benefits of the force multiplier of artificial intelligence. Uh, let's welcome our next speaker, Ku. Uh, we are very grateful for Zoho Corporation to be our sponsors today at our event. Um, I'm just going to do a quick introduction. So Ku is a regional marketing manager, Asia Pacific of Zoho Corporation. He co-leads the go-to-market strategies that prioritize product localization for the region. With 10 years of experience under his belt, he has appeared on countless digital panelist sessions. As well, he is a very strong advocate for the importance of digitalization. So without further ado, can we please put our hands together and welcome Ku on stage. Thank you, Ku. Thank you, Kathleen. So let me just test my uh, slides. Great. Thank you, everybody. So I'm Ku. I'm from uh, Soho Corporation. And I'm happy to be here um, sharing about this topic. So a simple um, explanation of maybe a simple um, background about the company. So Zoho has been around for more than 25 years. And we have a total of uh, more than 50 different uh, applications. And uh, till now, we have uh, more than 10K staff. And you know, we, if we use Zoho, we're part of uh, this uh, eco, uh, connected ecosystem. So let's talk about a little bit about um, you know, the current uh, state that we are in right now. So customer demands have actually changed a lot and we know that um, there's a less stressful experience and there's, um, you know, it's because of hybrid work and also the adoption of uh, easy, easier payment uh, gateways and so much. So, yeah. And these are the verticals that have been um, you know, um, uh, pivoted and transformed during this uh, season. So you know, previously we were talking about you know, uh, travel, and uh, you know restaurants and you know whatnot the tech industries. So being in the tech yeah, industry, ICM uh, vendor. So we also allow. Uh, we are the like the workforce enablers for many of these uh, industries. So the pandemic has changed a lot of um, um, you know user behavior habits. So more of us are right now you know um, are eating more healthier and you know we have um, adopted towards uh, you know a digital. Um, uh, touch points and over the top. So how does this um, you know, um, pandemic like, uh, affect your brand? So, and we need to learn how quickly that, you know, um, like how can we really um, understand um, how do we reach out to these customers so that we know what's the essence of uh, customer empathy. So maybe let me share with you something about uh, CX. So CX is about the experience of how the customer you know, uh, interface with your brand. So uh, it's uh, important. Um, maybe just let me um, have a disclaimer. You know, this is like a 40 minute uh, presentation. So let me just shrink it down to 10 minutes. So when things are getting better, so you want the customers to, you know, um, rush out and find you. So how, how do you do that? So if you take a look at this uh, slide, you know that, you know, this is like in the 1880s where this is uh, it's a newspaper, and we understand, we can remember the font. So this font is a Times New Roman, and we can remember it very well. So what are the factors that, you know, create this um, brand recognition and how people feel about your brand? So we feel that, you know, um, the communication and the touch points between your brand and the customer matters. And there are several communication uh, channels which exist for customer to reach a business. And like, you know, the mail... Uh, phone call, a website, you know, social media, and whatnot. And we also understand that each different department has this, uh, you know, communications uh, uh, offered to whatever your customers. And it becomes very difficult and complex, especially when you have multiple touch points and you have, you know, uh, different uh, departments. So how can we empathize with the customers? Uh, firstly, we like to understand, you know, what, how do we gather these uh, digital signals from every uh, touch point? So, in a book, Wired to Care, previously, uh, Netflix um, gave out all DVD players to all its employees so that Netflix employees back in those days can view DVDs so that they understand the demographics of the customers. So, did Nike try to enforce 
uh, you know, this um, healthy culture within their organization. So they will understand, you know, how to sell better and reach out to their customers. So imagine that we are living or we are working in an, a building of, uh, let's say, three stories, and only the top floor would have access to um, the windows. And then when you want to find out what is the weather outside, you will need to, uh, you know, locate uh, employees in the top floor. So this counts, sounds kind of stupid, but, you know, this is really how it is, uh, especially when you only have one department dealing with uh, customer support or experience. So we also understand that, you know, um, blindly and just talking about, uh, you know, all the cool stuff and all the tech stuff would mean nothing to the SME. We wanted to share that our corporate philosophy actually aligns the tools and the features that we have as a tech company. So we also understand that, you know, uh, these are the four components of what I want to share with, um, you know, our, our prestigious uh, our audience here today. So first, let me share what is uh, our corporate uh, uh, philosophy. So this is our commitment to uh, privacy and security. So we are one of those companies that, um, you know, uh, block all adjunct uh, surveillance uh, from our properties. And we never sell your data. We, we, you know, we are not an ad company. So we also understand, you know, your customers' data, uh, you know, reside with you. And, you know, we don't, you know, we don't want to sell out any of our customers. And we have a, you know, very detailed and security assessment of all our third parties. And we are, you know, ISO 27018 and 27701 uh, certified. So when we deploy the right tools to get, uh, you know, digital signals from customers, what do we uh, traditionally mean? So this is a typical customer um, uh, journey. You know, when you run some uh, ad campaigns, yeah, when you run some ad campaigns, you know, and then you engage uh, visitors, and then you convert these visitors to leads, and then subsequently, you know, you win them as customers, and then you execute projects, and then after that, you know, you want to measure the ROI. So this is a typical customer journey. And, you know, we have um, a thought process that created our customer experience platform which actually unifies, um, you know, the support department, the marketing department, and the sales department with this customer experience platform so that all of these uh, digital touch points can be unified and contextually mean something to the sales uh, agent or the marketing staff or the person doing the delivery. So this is how it looks like uh, with our omni-channel uh, campaigns. So you can do uh, email campaigns, you can have online meetings, you can have social campaigns, and you can even um, run, like, um, you know, engagement through your website. And this is how it looks like when you engage your visitors with uh, whoever that lands on your page. So you'll be able to convert, um, you know, chats uh, to calls. Because, you know, while you're sleeping, you know, your website never sleeps. And you want somebody at your storefront if you're operating a storefront. Similarly, you want, you know... Um, maybe more tech savvy than me, and they'll have this. Um, we also have this AI assistance that can even chat with them to find out what they want. And then you know, of course, the tra traditional method works well. Uh, we can always do a survey so that we understand, you know, and gather some feedback from the customer so that we can improve our customer service. And when we integrate all of these uh, applications together, uh, how would they look like? And we also talk about, you know, how AI can help because nowadays, you know, AI is uh, actually a force enabler. So AI is also only as smart as uh, the data it gets. And we felt that, you know, after we grow with our own tools, so Zoho runs on Zoho, and this is, uh, you know, the integrated suite, we call it uh, Zoho CRM Plus. And we also understand that we need to give employees the correct contextual uh, information. Uh, maybe the next slide would be able to, you know, explain my course better to the SME. I specially, pre uh, you know, prepared this uh, slide to show, you know, my, my guest today. So, you know, we have uh, three items here, you know, lying on the ledge. And a kind soul, you know, you know have assembled this thing on the, on the right. So, actually, there's this kind person that, you know, um, assembled. But, you know, until now, these three items have not been dried yet. 
because uh, some of the agents may not have the contextual um, information to make the best uh, judgment to serve the uh, certain customer. So when we talk about scaling, uh, you do not want to win three customers and lose one per week. So you'll be like, take three steps and then you move one step back. So we understand that to scale properly, you need to you know, assign tickets properly. So if you assign tickets uh, properly, you will get a uh, better response and you can you know, rectify some of those things that uh, will go wrong. Because you know, as humans, we are not perfect. And sometimes you know, uh, not everyone is as motivated as your top salesman. So we can also focus on you know, the urgent tickets, like uh, what you see here. Um, without a proper uh, ticketing system, you might find your, um, your help desk staff or your ticket, the, the agent supposed to do um, customer support. They may not know how to prioritize um, their ticket, tickets. And then you may miss your best customers. And we can always use uh, AI for sentiment analysis. So in this uh, screenshot, you find that, you know, um, this sentiment is positive and you can actually uh, derive a lot of insights from a list of um, uh, support tickets. And then as a CTO, CIO in the audience, uh, you know that it's very difficult and costly to you know, assemble tools, assemble um, you know, dashboards. And what happens you know, in another one or two years, um, things change and is it easy for the employees to you know, um, access this data? or these dashboards. Most of the time it's no, because you waste money on some uh, monolithic um, uh, software. So you want to urge that, you know, when you go on a SaaS product uh, like Zoho CRM Plus or choose a company like Zoho, you know, do visit our booth uh, so that, you know, we can uh, have a more in-depth uh, discussion with you. So I'm keeping this uh, session to be very short so that, you know, uh, we can have more time with the panelists. So I'm very happy here to be one of the sponsors uh, hope you know uh, you have given me a, a very good uh, uh, attention. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, very, thank you very much, Ku. I would like to invite Renee to present a token of appreciation as well as a photo moment with Ku. That was a very effective 10-minute um, summary. For those who have not had your time with um, Ku at his booth there, please make sure you stop by and have a chat with him. Very insightful. Thank you very much, Ku. We will now have a panel discussion um, on the next topic. We will also invite Renee, um, our moderator, for to talk about... our healthcare sector and upcoming trends and what are the do's the don'ts